Hey everyone, welcome back to Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. On this video, we'll be completing Fracture Hills. Entering Fracture Hills. We're up to 3,300 gems. If you recall from a few video go videos ago, Moneybags took a lot of our <laughs> gems. Keep it down. Ha. So it looks like he didn't like the noise. Hello, dear Mr. Dragon. You're pretty cute for a quadruped. I wish I could take you on a tour of our temple, but a bunch of lousy earth shapers have encased it in stone. Releasing me. There are still some more trapped in stone. Alright, let's uh, make our way around the top first. Just find these trees. So we'll be back. Oh, what happened there? Ah, oh. I was just about to explain how we won't be able to do everything in this level because we don't have the head bash technique yet. We got that in the next world. So we're gonna make our way back here. Don't even need to worry about all the gems at this point. Yep, of course we can use the super flame breath and kind of cheat a little bit, but I don't, that's not going to be the standard playthrough for everyone, so I won't do it. Or maybe I will. Still thinking about it. We're making a full circle around this map, but we're taking the top part first. Yes, there is. Ah, oh, I missed. Break down the door, difficulty 4 out of 5. So, we don't have access to that yet. We need 14 soul particles. Hills. 
Alright, let's see, which way do we want to go? Let's go this way. All right, so normally you need to wait until you get the head bash technique, which is X triangle, uh, to take these guys out. But since we have super flame breath, we could just do that. And I think I'll just take them out. We will still have to come back here to get the last orb from Hunter, but I'll probably edit that in at some point. not like anyone's going to be watching these videos anyway, so... This is just for the memories of playing Spyro in 2023. Let's see, what do we have left? Oh, okay. Oh, there's still this entire area. You can at least say thank you. You were trapped inside of this building, so... Don't know what the attitude's about. It shows that I haven't played this in a while. <laughs> Okay, we can go over there. We can smash that with the supercharge. Let's make our way up here. Spire is pointing down there. But I think we have to make our way around. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go to the supercharge and make our way to unlock that door right in front of us. And we will be going for the skill point, which is to complete three laps around this place. And we failed miserably. Oh well, let's go back, take another crack at it. This part will most likely be fast forwarded anyway. Alright, three laps starting now. That's one. This is the only tricky part. You kind of have to jump and then jump again. Jump over here. Make a left and then jump over here. And then if you're about to fall, you can just jump. And then that's two. Come on. That was very close. That was very close. Jump. 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 Left. Sharp left. Jump. And then this should be the home stretch. 
We got the skill point! But we have to go around one more time to actually do what that little fawn wanted us to do. Which is break that door. So, it's really simple. Nothing to it. And there we go. Oops. Alright, and we're missing some gems, so... Sparks, now's your time to shine. Oh, there we go. Oh, let's actually get this mission started. Escort the alchemist, yes! Protect the alchemist from the earth shapers. Difficulty 4 to 5. It's a good thing we already took him out with our super flame breath. So now we can just collect the rest of the gems, let him make his way through. And yeah, normally you'd have to head bash them as he's walking towards them, or you could do that in advance. Uh, let's see. There we go. I think he should be pretty safe, unless we're missing anything. Nope. Just hang tight. This guy doesn't know where he's going. Could have lit literally made a left turn out of his little house, but whatever. Alright, so unfortunately to get the second orb, Hunter doesn't recognize that there are no more Earth Shapers or those big rock dudes anymore. So we actually have to come back after learning the head bash technique, which is going to be in a while, so... Alright, so there's nothing more we could do here. Uh, let's take so we've learned how to head bash, and we're just waiting for the Alchemist to get back over here again. Yep, he's going to go around this rock and then make his way to Hunter. And then since we've already taken out all the Earth Shapers, we'll just get our orb and be done. Yes. Alright. When I shoot an earth shaper with an arrow, you head bash him before he gets back up. Remember, head bash by jumping and then pressing the action button. Alright, difficulty four out of five. We made a great team. Here, I was gonna give this to the alchemist. I'm a bit annoyed at it at the moment. All right, that's a hundred percent. And let's go exit this level. Oh, we've already talked to you. Oh, whatever. Want to give it to us again? Sure, why not?
All right, it's like, if you can't beat him, join him, right? No need to be grumpy all the time. Just have some fun. All right, got 100% completes. Fracture planes or whatever the level is called. I really don't care. But I do care. Fracture Hills. Alright, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.